today we're going to be working on our blue tech trail called silly sausage that's the best name i could find in the comments but anyway let's get started today i'll be building a fun tabletop at the end of silly sausage our newest tech trail the end is really flat and it's kind of boring so today we're going to spice it up I'll walk you through each step of building a tabletop, and I'll also give you some tips on how to build your own. So let's get started. The first step in building our tabletop is actually to gather medium-sized sticks. When you're building a bigger tabletop, you want logs because it'll take way more dirt if you use smaller sticks. You could use some of your bigger logs and break them against a tree, or if you have a saw, you could just use that. The way that I'm organizing these logs is by creating a rectangle on the outside of where your tabletop is. What's nice about doing it this way is that it's very customizable, meaning that you can make your tabletop as large as you want. After you create your boundary, you can fill your rectangle in with logs. This is helpful because it shows you the exact area of the tabletop itself and it also takes less dirt to actually build it. Now, we can start getting some of that dirt. The biggest mistake that I see in jump building is when people get the wrong type of dirt. A lot of the time, people scrape away from the earth and just grab the topsoil which contains all these leaves. There's two correct ways to get dirt. The first way is to mine it from a fallen tree. This prevents digging a deep hole, but if there are no fallen trees, you can dig that hole. We don't have any fallen trees around, so I'm just digging a new source pit right next to the jump. This also prevents the use of buckets, which can be a pain sometimes. I also already have a lip in place, so we won't need to worry about that. Since our tabletop is going to be fairly small, we won't actually need that much dirt. The bigger the tabletop, the more dirt you need. Also, you don't want a really long tabletop with a tiny lip. As your lip size increases, you want your distance to increase in a linear fashion. Getting dirt is by far the most backbreaking part of the work in any tabletop, but this jump wasn't. Right now I'm adding dirt straight to the top and it kind of looks like a mound, but now we're going to shape it and make the middle flat. The first step of shaping is using the backside of this metal rake. You can pull out a bunch of rocks and extra organic matter and it's very helpful. After this, we're using a tiny shovel as a precision tool and it works very well. Looking back on it, I wouldn't even consider this tool a shovel, but whatever it is, it's very helpful for getting nice angles in the dirt. Also, if you have a higher low spot inside your tabletop, you can effortlessly make it level. Before we thoroughly pack our tabletop, I'm getting a little bit more fresh dirt and adding it to the landing, just because the tabletop feels a little short right now. After some shaping of this new dirt, we can get to packing it. First, I'm packing the top of the tabletop because that's what provides the most structure. Next, I'm packing the sides and then finally the landing. Once we pack it thoroughly, we can go over it again. There is actually a final step that we're going to do before we're finished with this tabletop and it's giving the lip a nice radius. To do this, I'm standing on top of the jump and I'm caving in some of the dirt on the middle. This makes the lip have a transition and it makes it very smooth. Now that our jump's done, let's admire it. Well, today we built a tabletop, and I'm sorry that I'm ending this video kind of short. In next week's video, we'll be building a whale tail, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in next week's backyard build.